What's up everyone? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be trying out the FAMAS. I've been seeing a lot of people use it in pubs. Kind of been getting destroyed by it every now and then, but you know, kind of wanted to give it a try myself, see what's see what's going on, you know. Uh but yeah, let's jump into the class here. Show off what I'm doing. So for the muzzle, we're rocking monolith suppressor. Nothing too special there, you know, offers that damage range. Talked about this in the last video with the uh, the kilo, right? Kilo. So yeah, we're gonna we're using the monolith suppressor just for the damage range. Obviously, because it's a suppressor in general as well. Hides you from the little navigation compass thing at the top as well. Makes it a little harder for people to just know where you're at immediately. Uh, moving over to the barrel, we're using the ultralight. Um, I'm kind of back and forth here. You know what? We're going to go for the one burst. We're going to use a sniper this one. We're, we're, we're going to use a sniper barrel. Just because, I mean, look at these stats, bro. We're sh we should be one bursting everybody we see. Granted, we're going to have to play. Uh, we're going to have to post up. We're definitely going to have to post up. But we're going to we're gonna rock the sniper this game just to show off like the true power of this gun. For the stock, we're going to use the tac wrap, which is pretty much uh, close quarter stock, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Close quarter stock. Um... We want that aim down sight speed, especially if we're rocking the sniper barrel. We definitely want the aim down sight speed because that's going to hit us hard. Um, rear grip, we're using stipled. Again, aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, super important. Always, I always want that just because of the kind of player I am. I don't think I'll have too much issue with the recoil. Uh, we'll see when we get in the game, but I'm pretty sure I want stipled here. And commando foregrip, pretty standard for me. That's what I like to use in all of my classes pretty much, except for a couple... Uh, Except for a couple submachine gun classes, so this is what we're going to be rocking. And that's the class, guys, and let's hop into some games and see how we do. Alright guys, we finally got in a game that hasn't started yet. Well, it kind of already started, but it hasn't really started. Dang. What a way to come out. <laughs> Didn't hit a single burst there. Yeah, we're rocking the FAMAS game. Seeing if we can make it work. Like I said, I've been getting worked with this gun. Granted, I don't know if this is the best class for it. We're, we're gonna try it out. Probably gonna get sniped a lot. I imagine we're gonna get sniped a lot because a lot of snipers love to love to be on this map. Man, this is not one of my better maps. I have to say, I kind of hate playing on this map. Just because of uh, just because there's so many angles, man. There's so many angles on this map that you can play. I'm getting work this map. But we're gonna see if we can bring it back. It's gonna be too hard. But yeah, guys. Uh, talked about Cold War a little bit in the last video. The uh, the multiplayer reveal was a couple days ago now. And uh, I gotta say, I liked everything that I saw. I mean, I talked about uh, the score streaks coming back. Didn't really talk about a lot of the things I didn't like. Definitely did not like the fact that your your um your short your score streaks carry over uh, on death, which I don't necessarily like that. But I haven't played the game. Obviously, the dev said you know there are penalties for dying. You know. But, uh, they haven't really explained too much about what that means. Oh, now we're getting some one burst in. Took me long enough. Took me long enough to get some one burst in. Yeah, the score streak carryover on death, not too much of a fan of that. Um... A lot of the people that play Cold War said that sniping's back. I know that's not a bad thing, but... But I'm definitely hyped for that. Um, sniping's not super easy like it is in this game. Sniping in this game is just way too easy. It's not even a challenge. Like, I see normal... Normal dudes rocking snipers and they're actually just going off with it. I don't mean normal dudes in, uh... 
any bad way. Just kind of casual player. It's just picking up snipers and going ham. Takes really no skill in this. Uh... Ooh, look at me going off here. Now we're getting some one burst in. Wow, I'm surprised he actually didn't knife me. I'm surprised he didn't just get the easy knife. But yeah, you know, uh, no way. Ha <laughs> ha, I didn't even know you could put a trophy right there. Sorry, I had to focus up a little bit there. Oh, I didn't even know I was on my streak, so I'm glad I wasn't playing stupid. Oh. The iron sights on this gun are pretty whack, though. So, I kind of thought about changing to a red dot. I really did. Really did consider that. But I don't think we need it. I don't, I don't think we need it. The iron sights are pretty trash, but we don't need it. Yeah, back to my Cold War rant. A lot of the people that played it said they uh A lot of people that played it said that the AK-74U was the best gun. Slide canceling was in the game, which I'm not happy about. Um I mean, to be fair, I don't really care that much about slide canceling. You know, I'm not a pro player. I'd use it in this game, but again, I don't really see the advantage it gives me. You know, slide canceling just feels good. Like, you know, you get your gun up. You're not stuck in that animation as long. Ooh, thank you, teammate. Yeah, I saw people slide canceling a lot. Some of the maps I saw looked pretty dope, I'm not gonna lie. Miami looked pretty fun. Tundra looked a little questionable, but... You know, there's no actual buildings or anything. So that's super dope. Uh, also, no doors. There is no doors in Cold War, which is super sick. The doors kind of make me rage a lot. Just throw an at me. I have an AR, bro. You're not winning that. Yeah, there are no doors, so I don't have to deal with the weird door play. There's no noise, you know, when you open a door, you don't have to worry about all that garbage, so. That's nice. But I'm super hyped about score streaks being back. I really hate kill streaks, man. Kill streaks do not encourage people to actually play the game. Kill streaks literally make people just sit in one place and not move. They have no, uh, no incentive to move, really. Especially if you're just playing for streaks makes it a little too easy. Granted, score streak spam can be a little bad. You know, uh, juggling the hills and hard point can cause people to just get streaks really fast. So, you know, there's that. But I feel like it's easier to play around people trying to juggle hills and stuff rather than people just camping for streaks. You know, I like to play OBJ, but also like to play really aggressive. So. You know, it has its it has its ways. I'll, I'll find a way around beating people that like to just, you know, juggle hills and try to get their score streaks really fast. I mean, I'll probably do the same thing and try to abuse that, so... I feel like I'll do a better job at it. Uh, what were some other things I saw about Cold War that I really liked? Um... Saw a lot of different guns. Saw a lot of Black Ops 1 guns coming back, you know, AK-74U, I'm pretty sure the N4 was in the game as well. It's called like the NV4 or something like that. Um, I'm pretty sure the R700 is back in the game as well, which was pretty dope. I loved seeing that. Um, I really want to see what the sniping's like, though. I mean, I saw a couple people using the snipers, but... It looked a little weird. You really don't, you really can't get like a good idea of what the sniping's like just by watching someone else do it. You kind of got to get the feel for it. Going off now. I just do full out of regular gun. 
yeah, Cold War is looking pretty good so far. I don't want to get too hyped on it yet. I didn't try to watch. I didn't watch too much of the reveal just because I want to experience it myself. You know. Yeah, I want to experience, you know, the game for myself, so I'm just kind of waiting for the beta to come out. Too bad I'm on Xbox, so... I'm on Xbox, so... You know, I'll probably get it a I'll probably get to play it a little later than everyone else on, like, PlayStation and stuff, but that's okay. As long as I get to play it, you know, make my $60 worth it. Ah, uh, those were terrible shots. Love hit markers. Love hit markers. Ooh. Got the sick one burst too. Let's see if we can get our streaks again. Yeah, I'm really excited to play another Call of Duty. I've been kind of no lifing this one. So it'll be nice to get a breath of fresh air really. Getting really tired of this one and just the lack of... Oh, another thing about uh, Cold War is that the slide canceling thing, like, uh, Treyarch does not want that in the game. And one of the devs already talked about that they're going to have a fix for that soon. So, you know, the transparency from the devs on the Treyarch team, super, super good. You love to see that from any game developer. You know, that transparency is always nice. You know, I can say from playing this from playing Call of Duty for, you know, twelve years now, some something ridiculous. Seeing the devs actually talk about, you know, fixes that, you know, they're looking into even during the beta, you know. Um, is super nice. You know. It's already more than more than Modern Warfare has done with the Infinity War dev team. I feel like uh, multiplayer got kind of abandoned this year. I'm definitely a pub stomper, and you know, I care a lot about playing pubs and and having just like a good public game experience. And I gotta say, this one has not been it. Like, I mean, I got good at the game. Don't get me wrong now. Like, I got pretty good at the game, but. I can say there's a lot of issues, there's a lot of gun balancing issues, it seems like they're just adding guns and not tuning them after they release them, which is, which is not cool. Wow. We were just kind of rambling on that game and we still dropped 50. I didn't get that much time in the hard point, but I kind of noticed my teammates were handling it, so I didn't really like feel the need to play like hard OBJ. Just kind of went around and kill horde a little bit but you know not a bad game you know drop 50 and 21 you know over a 2.0 kd so we're sitting pretty but yeah cold war really looking forward to it man really looking forward to just playing a new game i saw a lot of things that i like let me back out here just so you can look at the class one more time like i said we were rocking the famas that game we're using the uh the black ops one variant or blueprint or whatever yeah, like I said, this class isn't that bad. Um, I think when I was going for Damascus, I actually ran the TAC Ultralight. That's this is the this is the attachment that the actual blueprint comes with. Uh, it offers that aim down sight speed, but look at the damage range. Look how much it takes off. You know, it just didn't seem worth it. You know, the gun doesn't kill in one burst every time. Or it's not really consistent with the one burst. I got a couple one bursts that game. Um, but I don't know. I think you want to run the, the sniper barrel. I think it's just better overall. Granted, the iron sights are trash. They're so trash. So um, if I was to run a sight, I'd probably run something like the GI Reflex or... Maybe the Solo Zero Mini Reflex. I like this one a lot too. The Viper one's okay as well. Um, yeah, one of those. The Viper's pretty good. The GI fle uh, Reflex is pretty good as well. The Reflex, this one's pretty good. If I was to take off an attachment for it, maybe the Monolithic Suppressor, I'd probably have to get rid of it uh, for the optic. I think that's what I did when I was going for Damascus. 
Um, yeah, I think that would be what I would do here. It's not the best trade of attachments, but I think everything else is way more important than that monolithic suppressor at the end of the day. I mean, the damage range is nice, but, at the, but you know, you, those iron sights are tough. <laughs> you gotta have really good aim. You saw me missing a lot of shots, especially in the very beginning. I was missing a lot of my bursts. So the iron sights are a little trash. They, they need to be adjusted, but it's fine. You know, we still came out and did pretty good. You know, 50 kills. And that was like my second game using it uh, in months. So, not too bad. Not too bad. But I have to say, the gun's pretty strong. Uh, but like I said, it's it mostly would be useful on longer range maps-ish. Uh, if you use a reflex, I'd definitely use it on a longer range map. Because you'll have way more success. You can post up a lot more easy or easier than you would on a map like Crash. Where you have a lot of like submachine guns running around and a lot of... Uh, a lot of ARs and snipers that are trying to play really fast. I mean, you saw me trying to deal with that one sniper, but he kept trying to knife me, so he didn't have too much luck there. But yeah, guys, we didn't have too bad of a performance this game. The FAMAS is kind of okay. I'm not going to say it's broken, because it's not. I mean, you saw me struggling with it. If the iron sights were better, I would say it's kind of OP. Kind of. Um, but, but the iron sights are trash, so it kind of makes it a little tough to use. And there's like there's not a no-stock attachment for it as well, so you can't like run around with it like, like I can with a lot of other ARs. But yeah, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you like the video, please leave a like. If you want to subscribe, please do. It helps out the channel a lot. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video.